To predict future values based on the recurring pattern observed in the historical data, use forecast.ets function. The Excel forecast.ets function uses an exponential smoothing algorithm to predict a future value on a timeline based on a series of existing historical values. The predicted value is a continuation of the historical values in the specified target date, which should be a continuation of the timeline. You can use this function to predict future sales, inventory requirements, or consumer trends. Here is the syntax. Target date, the data point for which you want to predict a value. Target date can be date or numeric. Values, a range or array of historical data for which you want to predict future values. Timeline, an array of dates or independent numeric data. The dates in the timeline must have a consistent step between them and can't be zero, meaning the timeline should have a regular intervals, for example, hourly, daily, monthly, quarterly, yearly, etc. Seasonality, a number representing the length of the seasonal pattern. One or omitted is default. Excel detects seasonality automatically by using positive whole numbers. Zero, no seasonality, that is a linear forecast. Positive whole numbers will indicate the algorithm to use patterns of this length as the seasonality. Maximum supported seasonality is 8760 number of hours in a year. Any seasonality above that number will result in the pound num error. Data completion, an optional argument specifying how the algorithm should handle missing points in the timeline. Although the timeline requires a constant step between data points, forecast.ets supports up to 30% missing data and will automatically adjust for it. The data completion argument can have a value of 0 or 1. 1 or omitted calculates the value of missing points to be the average of the neighboring values. 0 treats missing points as having the value 0. Aggregation, an optional argument specifying how the algorithm should aggregate values that have the same timestamp. Although the timeline requires a constant step between the data points, forecast.ets will aggregate multiple points which have the same timestamp. This can be any integer between 1 and 7. 1 or omitted is default. The average function is used for aggregation. Other options are 2 is for count, 3 is for count A, 4 is for max, 5 is for median, 6 for min, and 7 for sum. B2 to B40 has monthly sales from 1-1-2019 to 3-1-2022, and A2 to A40 contains a timeline. Use this formula to forecast the sales value for 4-1-2022. A41 is the target date. B2 to B40 are the historical data values. A2 to A40 is the timeline. Use absolute reference for values and timeline. Last three arguments are omitted. Excel uses the defaults. Detect seasonality automatically. Complete missing points as the average of the neighboring points. Aggregate multiple data values with the same timestamp by using the average function. The function returns the forecasted sales value for 4-1-2022. To calculate the forecast for other dates, copy the formula down. Future values for other dates are calculated. Plot the results on a chart to see a clear visual representation of the predicted values. Use a 2D line chart. To draw a continuous uninterrupted line, Copy the last historical data value, which is the last sales value, to the forecast column. Copy B40 to C40. Now select the data in the three columns, including the headings. On the Insert tab in the Charts group, click on the Insert Line icon and choose the first chart type 2D line. Name the chart. The X values are the dates and Y values are the sales. Blue line plots the historical sales values and the orange line predicted sales values. The predicted values are following a pattern existing in the historical data. The timeline isn't required to be sorted as forecast.ets function will sort it implicitly for calculations. 
the dates in column A are sorted, the same dates are entered in column C but are not sorted. The forecast function in column G is using the dates and values in column A and B. The forecast function in column H is using the dates and values in column C and D. Both the functions return the same results. If a constant step can't be identified in the provided timeline, forecast.ets will return the pound num error. Here the dates are not periodic, so a constant step cannot be identified, so the function returns the pound num error. The function is best suited for non-linear data sets with the seasonal or another repetitive pattern. When Excel cannot detect a pattern, the function reverts to a linear forecast. As you can see in this chart, there is no pattern in the sales data. When Excel cannot detect a pattern, the function reverts to a linear forecast. Use this formula, copy the formula down. Excel was not able to detect a pattern, so the function reverted to a linear forecast. The chart shows a linear line for forecast. Sometimes even if there is an existing pattern in the date, if there is not enough historical data, Excel cannot find a pattern. For example, column A has monthly sales from 1-1-2020 to 12-1-2021 and the pattern is repeating every year. Use this formula. Seasonality is omitted. Copy the formula down. Excel was not able to detect a pattern, so the function reverted to a linear forecast. Since the timeline is monthly and season is one year, meaning the pattern repeats every year, set the seasonality argument to 12 in this formula. Copy the formula down. The forecast values changed and now they are following a pattern. Notice the graph and you can see that forecast looks almost like the sales in the previous years. If the sales values are recorded on a quarterly basis, use this formula. Since the timeline is quarterly and season is one year, pass 4 as seasonality. The function can work with incomplete data where up to 30% data values are missing. Some of the periodic dates are missing, for example, 5-1-2021, 7-1-2021, etc. The missing points are filled in based on the data completion argument. If it is omitted, the default is 1. If 1 is passed, the missing points are filled in as the average of the neighboring points. If 0 is passed, the missing points are treated as 0. If the data completion value is other than 0 or 1, for example 2, a pound num error is returned. The pound value error is returned if data completion argument is non-numeric. If more than 30% data points are missing, the formula returns an error. Delete 6-1-2022 and 8-1-2022. The formula returns a pound num error. A timeline may have duplicate values. The values with the same timestamp are aggregated as defined by the aggregation argument. For example, we have three rows for 12-1-2021 with the different sales values. Forecast value changes based on the aggregation passed. The valid range is from 1 to 7. If 1 is passed, the average function is used to aggregate the values. The aggregate function changes based on the aggregation argument passed. The function returns a pound num error if any other value is passed. For example, pass 8. The pound value error is returned if aggregation argument is non-numeric. The pound NA error is returned if the values and timeline arrays have different length. For example, pass B2 to B8 for dates and A2 to A9 for sales. The function returns a pound NA error. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.